hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show how to crochet this beautiful and easy earrings so keep watching for the pattern i will be using embroidery thread three strands 0.5 mm crochet hook jump ring earring hook scissor plier and glue so these are the things required we are going to start the pattern with white color thread start with a magic ring chain 1 which is not counted as a stitch make 12 half double crochet in the ring I'll just go ahead and complete all my half double crochet. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. As you can see, I have completed all my stitches. We're going to tighten up the ring and make a slip stitch in the first half double crochet stitch to end the row. First row is completed. We're going to fasten off the thread. For the next row, we are going to change the color of the thread. Insert the hook in any stitch. Pull up a loop with the second color. Chain 1. Make one single crochet in the same stitch. Chain 12. Make one single crochet in the same stitch. Make one single crochet each in the next three stitches. So now we are going to chain 12. Make a slip stitch in the same stitch. Make one single crochet each in the next three stitches. Chain 12 One single crochet in the same stitch One 
one single crochet each in the next three stitches This is the last one, chain 12. Make one single crochet in the same stitch. Make single crochet in the last two stitches. Make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch to end the row. So a second row is completed. Now we are going to make battles. I am going to use the same color thread. For this row we are going to work in chain 12 space. Make two single crochet in the space, two half double crochet in the same space, two double crochet in the same space. Now we are going to make 7 travel crochet in the same space. So we are done with 7 travel crochet. Now we are going to repeat the same 2 double crochet in the same space. Two half double crochet in the same space. Two single crochet in the same space. So this is our first battle. So now we have two single crochet in the middle. You can make one single crochet in any of the stitches. Now we are going to repeat the same. In this chain 12 space, we are going to make two single crochet. Two half double crochet in the space. Two double crochet in the space. Seven travel crochet in the same space.
two double crochet in the same space two half double crochet in the same space two single crochet in the same space So our second pattern is completed. We are going to make one single crochet in the middle. You need to repeat this and complete all the patterns. I'll see you guys in the end. As you can see, I have completed all my patterns. We are going to make one single crochet in the middle. And make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch to end the row. Fasten off the thread and with the ends. So our beautiful flower is completed. So this is the last row. I'm going to use red color thread. So insert the hook. In the back loop of the first single crochet stitch so this is where the pattern starts pull up a loop chain one make a slip stitch in the back loop of the next stitch chain one make a slip stitch in the back loop of the next stitch So repeat this in the next 7 stitches. We have completed in all 9 stitches and the next is the 10th stitch. So if you count, this is the 4th treble crochet stitch. So in this stitch we are going to make 1 single crochet taking both the loops, chain 3 and make 1 single crochet in the same stitch. And now we are going to continue with chain 1, 1 slip stitch in the back loop of the next stitch.
So this is the last single crochet of this petal. So this is our first petal. We are going to make a slip stitch in the next single crochet stitch. We are going to repeat the same chain 1, make a slip stitch in the back loop of the next 9 stitches. So I have completed in all 9 stitches. So next is the 10th stitch. We are going to make 1 single crochet chain 3, 1 single crochet in the same stitch. So now we are going to continue with chain 1 slip stitch in the back loop. I'll just go ahead and complete all my patterns. I'll see you guys in the end. As you can see I have completed my row. In the end we are going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. Now we are going to fasten off the thread and weave the ends. So this is how it looks like after completing the row. So now we are going to make this surface stitching. So this is quite simple. So I'll be using red color thread. We are going to work in this half double crochet round. So insert the hook in any stitch. So just like this, pull up a loop. We have one loop in our hook. So now we are going to insert a hook in the second stitch and pull up one more loop. We are going to pull up one more loop from the second stitch. Now we have two loops in our hook. We are going to pull through the first loop. We have one loop in our hook. Again we are going to insert in the next stitch. Pull up a loop. And pull through the first loop. So we are going to repeat this all around. We are going to insert again in the next stitch. Pull up a loop and pull through the loop. Insert the hook in the next stitch. Pull up a loop and pull through the loop. So repeat this all around. I'll see you guys in the end. My last stitch is left. We are going to repeat the same. Now we are going to pull up our working loop little bit and turn our work. Insert the hook in the first stitch where we have started and we are going to pull through this working loop towards the back side. So insert the hook in the loop and pull the loop. So we have a loop in the back side. Now we are going to fasten up the thread. We are going to cut off all the excess yarn and glue the ends.
So beautiful flower is completed. Let it dry for a couple of seconds. Attach your ring hook with the help of jump ring. Your ring is completed. Thank you so much for watching.